if you want to make a PCB like this one at home so this video will very helpful for you so before I start in this video watch the whole video until the end so don't miss any step and uh, this is the PCB layout which is uh, very important for the manufacturing of the PCB and uh, this is the bottom layer of the PCB so this is our uh, circuit on which we are uh, uh, connecting our components and uh, on the PCB portion we are using a single layer copper bolt and uh, for which I am cutting the copper bolt as according to my layout of the PCB so the before uh, using this method please uh, clean the whole uh, copper bolt with a scrubber or any kind of thing so that the uh, mask is uh, properly layered on the copper and uh, align the back uh, bottom side of the layer PCB to the copper and uh, here we are using a uh, iron heating method so the printing of this uh, is from the laser uh, jet printer and uh, here I am using the paper is normal A4 size uh, paper you can also use uh, photo, copper, uh, photo papers which are also known as uh, glossy paper so the heating of uh, this will print the ink on the copper board and then the, our mask will be printed so and uh, here you can see the process of this making is very fast as a few seconds the heating of the board by the iron and uh, gently uh, heat all the surface of the PCB and uh, now we are uh, removing the um, paper from the PCB so as you can see I am uh, again heating the PCB as uh, before now slowly uh, pick the paper and uh, remove just uh, instantly as uh, if you stop then it will be required again heating now the printing of the bottom layer of the PCB traces on the copper bolt is uh, successful but uh, you can see the some traces are not printed well so for which uh, you can see the some breaks uh, so for the perfection of this we are using a permanent marker to fix them so do the whole thing on the traces and uh, now it's time for the top layer making so the printing on the top layer first uh, we align the top layer components uh, mask to the circuit diagram and uh, also this will go back side of the copper board so due to this uh, we are uh, mirror out printing and uh, so that the uh, printout will be mirrored and uh, it will correct uh, in the position so we are aligning the PCB of the bottom layer and uh, top layer together so that I uh, will not uh, replace any work from them now again I am using iron for uh, almost uh, 10 to 15 seconds and uh, here you can see properly uh, hard press the press and uh, it will properly works and now remove the paper from the PCB like as I did so as you can see the mask of the top layer is uh, printed on the PCB very well but in the middle it's a little bit uh, dim 
so for which uh, replace again the for 20 in uh, seconds and uh, for the etching process here I am using a fairy chloride and uh, this will remove the external copper from the PCB so for which I am using a plastic uh, cup for doing this and uh, here I have uh, a solution of the fairy chloride in which I have added uh, water and uh, fairy chloride uh, compound now after doing all thing dip the whole PCB into the solution of the fairy chloride so that we can ease the this and uh, doing for uh, almost uh, 10 to 15 uh, uh, minutes of uh, aging the PCB is really ready for the using so before uh, using this wash the whole uh, PCB from water and uh, now you can see the PCB is very clean as before so it's time for the PCB drilling here I'm using a small DC motor and a 0.8 mm drill bit and uh, I drill all the holes as shown on the PCB so after this the PCB is ready for the components uh, put so I completed with my PCB with the whole components as uh, putting the registers, LED and uh, IC bases so this is the basically battery level indicator uh, PCB and uh, the PCB is now done and also I have uh, don't remove the back side of the uh, printed uh, ink so that the our uh, copper will not oxidize from the oxygen or moisture otherwise uh, if you want to remove the whole uh, traces then you will have to dip the solution so that the copper will not oxidize from air or moisture and now the PCB is uh, working as uh, you can see on the multimeter the voltage is uh, set at 12 volts and uh, also I am decreasing the voltage from my power supply which is uh, made in my previous video of TL494 uh, based buck and boost converter so I have calculated the uh, voltage level indicator to 12.7 uh, volt battery and uh, it's uh, working very as well as compared to the professional one in the market so here I am testing the voltage of this uh, 12 volt battery pack and uh, it's indicating 20% and uh, which is almost 10.8 uh, volts which is uh, very correct so this is the whole making process of the PCB and uh, thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.